I just had some great barbecue chips. And we yeah. all know in the newsroom, junk food can be very tasty and well, tempting. Apparently you won't be finishing that bag after the news <laughs> because the salt and fat that you enjoy may taste good, but you will pay for it. NBC4's Ellie Merritt runs down a new study about the price we pay for the snack attack. Let's fess up here. Good old French fries coated in salt and fat are oh so tempting. Same for the chips, but you'll pay for them. This particular picture is of the heart showing the valves and the heart chambers. But This is an echocardiogram. It gives docs a good look at your heart. Riverside cardiologist Dr. Kenny Graywall looks at hearts day in, day out, and a new study caught his eye. A study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that just 30 minutes after downing a salty snack like french fries or chips, and your arteries start to change. A study like this gives us some clues that sometimes even a single meal that either has a lot of sodium or, or uh, saturated fat uh, may have a short-term effect on our circulation, which over time can lead to uh, chronic, chronic problems. Problems like heart disease, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Salt can lead to heart problems over time. We've known that. But here's what's new. This study shows just one big salty meal or snack can lead to problems right away. What's the connection? This ends up here. Mm -hmm. And that's what's pumping blood to the entire body. And these structures moving here are the valves in the heart. They're working hard there. Uh, they are. They uh, open and close with every heartbeat. So what can you do to take care of this hard-working heart? Go for low-fat, low-sodium, whole-grain foods. Check the labels because even foods that look healthy can be packed with salt. And cut the risks you can Literally, control, uh, like smoking, uh, and uh, know your numbers and family yeah, history. The, the things that really do the most to prevent heart disease are keeping fit, you know, low-sodium, trying to avoid unhealthy fats. Bottom line, it all adds up. Ellie Merritt, NBC4.